Hey, what's up, everybody? What's good, Ilet? All five of us, the, the four of us, and now uh, one viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Letch Podcast. Um, my name's Brent. We've got here um, Moss um, Amana, our special guest. Um, someone was meant to leave him backstage until we entered him, but he's with us now. <laughs> <laughs> So good um, evening, good evening. Uh, we've got Lulangi Visinia here with us. Malo, so nice. thank you, thank you for joining uh, us. Ah, uh, all good, good to be here. Uh, before we before we get into the um, before we get into our nitty gritties with, with all of our questions and stuff, uh, we just want to thank everyone um, uh, who's watching tonight or, or listening, um, and also a big thank you to our sponsors. Um, Shucks, what's their name again, Moss? Uh, crucial flooring. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Need any, you know, flooring done at your house, carpets, any good floors? Head up Anthony Ralph. I'm sure he's having a good night after 75 hard. He's probably yes, around somewhere yes. in Mannix, you know, having a few brewskis. But yeah, and also Matty <laughs> McFarlane, um, one of our sponsors there. And also, um, uh, family, your relatives, brains, if you want to give them a shout out. Yeah, yeah, sweet. So we've got a, a new sponsor um, who have um, been uh, awesome enough to join us. So a big shout out to TJA Construction, um, to the uh, yeah. directors, um, Joy and Tolo. Um, thank you so much for investing in us. And we hope that we're able to bring you at least one new customer. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's up to Tiz, who is joining us? up also wherever you are but um cool we'll get straight into it i know that we've got um we've got a lot a lot of um a lot of stuff to cover especially with uh lolangi here with us tonight um are we any in intro video or yeah we do we do yeah we, we do we'll play we'll We'll pretend that Lolang is not here with us now. <laughs> we'll, we'll pretend that he's not here, and then we'll wait until after the video to, to introduce him again. But we are lucky, or well, we're blessed enough to have um, have him with us for um, for a little bit. Um, we've got a lot of lot of questions and and a lot of comments, no stories, um, like no 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 mocking stories or anything. So so you're safe. <laughs> this is a safe space here. But um, uh, mana yo, is that us? Okay, let's look for this. Oh, there he is. Start starting in. Welcome, Tiz. Welcome, Tiz. Can you hear us? He can hear yeah, us. <laughs> but we can't hear him. But like I said before, guys, it's the glow bug. It's the glow bug issues. <laughs> he's so he's chuck a 20 in that, in, that, in that following. You got a whole night quiz. <laughs> I think uh, Lolangi said he's going to sponsor us a few uh, Globebug credits. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need that for this day. All right. Everything's running worse, well, though. But no, anyway, um, we'll just look for this video. Um, what are you guys sorry, looking sorry. for? We'll just oh, carry just on, eh? Yeah, we'll just carry on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys yeah. already yeah. failed, yeah. mate. You might just keep going. <laughs> first, first, we were meant to leave Lolangi backstage, and, and now we don't find the video. We'll find it, and, and, and then we'll play up. it. We'll play the intro at the at the end. <laughs> we'll, we'll make that your outro. Is that all right? <laughs> Right. We'll get into it, eh? We'll get into it, boys. Um, first of all, thanks again also for jumping on. I oh, know um, oh. it's, you know, it's, it's a bit of your time. Um, we know that you, you are now coming to the end of your, um, your isolation period, which is bloody awesome to hear. Hope you didn't um, get too tea stick in there, eh? Um, we'll head over to Branzels. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just, just sorry, just touching on um isolation before we get into the the heavy stuff, bro. Um, how how's that been for you? Um, to be honest, like at the start, I thought it would be all right. Like 
you know, because I've seen a lot of people like that have been isolating in a household and then how they reacted to it and stuff. But the first couple of days was pretty tough, eh? Like, because that, that, that's where it hit me the most. Mm. Yeah. And like, you know, I just stayed in bed pretty much 90% of the time. And then up probably like around day four, day five, that's when I started getting better. And then, you know, slowly getting back into my routine. But um, yeah, no, it was just, it's just tough being away from like, you know, obviously my job, but just everyone else. Yeah. yeah. I've probably spent like 50% of my time on the PlayStation. <laughs> 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 oh, but that's me, man. Um, He's gonna have a free I, username out later on. If you want to <laughs> easy, nah, easy well, I'm dubs. still trash, eh? <laughs> easy dubs, easy dubs. <laughs> now, nah, but um, bro, like we hope that um, like with isolation and stuff, that um, you're able just to slot back into training and stuff. Um, I saw the lineup for this weekend. Um, Hopefully, uh, you like after you guys uh, smash the Highlanders, um, you you'll be yeah. you'll be back, you'll slot straight back in there, bro. But um, before we go any further, yeah, again, we just want to thank you for coming on. We thank you for nah, um, giving us some of your time, also. And I guess uh, we'll just start off with um, I know that uh, we know you as the rugby player, uh, Blues, Canes, uh, Moana Pacifica um hawks bay as well but but if you can if you're able just to give us a little bit about your history please um like wh where you're from where you grew up uh high school uh because you know we're like uh 25 to 35 year old males in auckland and still love talking about our high schools um, <laughs> for, for some reason so but that one time um, <laughs> but yeah bro we'll, we'll hand it um we'll give the floor over to you just 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 a little bit about about your background bro Oh yeah, take it. No, um, yeah, I've born and bred West Auckland, um, in Avondale, and then uh, went to Rosebank Primary, Avondale to Media, Ooh. and then when I started high school, I I actually started at Mags for the first couple of years. Um, it was alright. I just found it tough because I didn't really have much friends at, at the start, being up being like an outsider. So yeah. I finally made the change to go to Calston, and that's where James was already, and all of my other cousins were already there. So I found my transition um, pretty easy. And then, yeah, that's pretty much where my rugby career um, started off from. Um, first 15 for three years, and then, yeah, just started making all those age groups coming through. But um, I also played my rugby yeah. club was Suburbs. So I played suburbs right from when I was six years old up to up to when I started high school, and then I came back straight out of high school and went back to my club, and yeah, everything just kicked off from there. Nice, nice. Were you um, was rugby always the go for you uh, during your school schooling years? Um, I actually played pretty much nearly every sport <laughs> back in school, mm -hmm. so I was pretty yeah. sporty, but. Yeah, it's just because my old man right, used yeah. to always tell me like to try and, you know, take up something different. So mm -hmm. I tried as many sports as I could and I figured out towards the end of my last few years of high school that rugby was pretty much my dominant sport. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just g gave it all and yeah. yeah. It must be um, Orish was one of your your sports <laughs> if they run you, mate, eh? <laughs> 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 oh, bro, it was hard, eh? Like juggling all these other like commitments, and then I had to drop a lot to yeah. focus on rugby more. So, mm. yeah. yeah, but it was good because it like kept me um, active and motivated to you know stay fit and yeah. Just, just with that, bro. Just with like um, how you said that you you had to drop a lot of like you know focus. I guess focus on 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 your footy. Um, how was that for you, like as a teen? Um, like learning, um, like I don't know, like learn different things like discipline and and focus mm. and, and and being determined to, I guess, at first crack first 15. Uh, like, like, how was that for you in terms of like transitioning from um, learning that in high school and transitioning that into like club footy and and, and then uh, professional yeah. footy? Yeah, I guess for me, like, um, when I first joined the first 15, I was one of the youngest. 
I only just turned 16. And the majority of the boys were 17, 18. It's a few 19 year olds, but. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about that. Because uh, um, <laughs> during our years, we had, uh, I think, 21 year olds. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Or maybe up, even the teacher played for us at one point. I don't know. <laughs> she made one of the staff play with us. <laughs> not the repeat two years and yeah. still not even great. Tis and I are Mana's cousins. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, yeah. It was, like, uh, it was actually pretty tough. Like, obviously, um, you know, when you play different sports, some sports are individual, and some sports yeah, you only have, like, you know, not a full rugby team. But um, I guess when I came into the rugby scene, like, um, you know, I had to try and be at the same level as everyone else. Obviously, mm-hmm. everyone's different. And, um, yeah, I had to try and adapt to how... Because, um, as you know, like, Kelsen rugby is real, like, physical and real aggressive and, you know... Yeah, yeah. Always want to yeah. like, dominate the other schools, so I kind of had to like. Um, that was my mentality was to try and you know, not be exactly how they everyone else is, but like bring my own um, flavor to the. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Did you ever um get uh pulled towards the first thirty? There was there was one year when a few of the boys like moved and then played league. And they were trying to get me to come, but it was at the time like you had to choose one or the other. Yeah, so I think yeah, now yeah. you could probably do both. But it's because yeah, um, so. a lot of I think when a lot of the league scouts from like Aussie was coming over to watch like the nationals and stuff, they were trying to yeah. take all the union players. Yeah. So I think that's when all the um, like the provincial unions and like the academies and they had to try and um, keep all the boys in, in union. So. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, like, yeah, that was something I, I was like kind of keen on doing, but it was just hard at the time. Yeah, yeah. That, like similar to that, uh, that that nationals tournament where Roger got picked up. Uh, th- those tournaments, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was like that. So when um, we got into like the rep rugby, I think we um, was the New Zealand secondary schools, and we went over to Oz, and uh, a lot of the NRL under twenties and uh, even the top oh, side. Oh, yeah. Um, people are coming to watch. Like, even I got an approach from one of the teams, and I didn't know what to do at the time. Can you say yeah. which team? <laughs> oh, it's the Knights. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Lucky you yeah, didn't go. Good. Lucky you didn't go. <laughs> well, after, after Friday, after I didn't Friday's think Knights were that good at that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been during the, the Nathan Tinkler era, eh, when they were like, oh, when Wayne Bennett was, was there, around about that. Yeah. 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 Or, yeah, oh, yeah. what's his name? Is it Goodly, the fullback? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. was playing at the time. Sure. Yes, yeah, so he yeah. definitely lucky he didn't go because I think he was at the end of his career. Yeah, yeah, so, he was yeah. towards <laughs> the end of his career. Yeah. What? Well, sorry. Yeah, so, what about um? What about now? Like after you know when you finish up with Moana, would you consider going to league? Because we need some serious help at the dogs, hey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That, like I've been. <laughs> you said it yeah, first. I've been speaking to like a few people and like, like even my agent, like he was asking, oh, yeah. he's like, oh. Would you be keen to go switch codes? Like if there was nothing uh, else, and I was like, oh, oh wow. like I opened, I said, oh, I'll be keen if there's no other, you know, teams mm, in yeah. union that are keen for me. So, cause I, yeah, because I like watching in a row, and it's just, yeah. you know, you just get yeah, the excitement. Yeah, yeah. And you watch like you know, all the big hits and the big runs and all nice. those runs. Me so as, I can as officially as say <laughs> that you're a Bulldogs in 2024. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Nah, it here. Here. Breaking Bulldogs. news. Bulldogs 2020. Titans, welcome, Titans. Welcome. Titans, my team. Who's do you follow? Oh, do you follow the team? Oh, I do on, follow the Titans. On. Well, because I remember in 2007 or 8, you know, that's when Titans first started up. Yeah, yeah. We had like yeah. a, when I was playing under 15s back in school, and we had a, a tour over in Brisbane and Gold Coast, mm. and I went to one of the home games. And I was like, wow, these guys are pretty mean. And that's when there were like guys like Matt Rogers and all they were playing. Oh, yes. At yeah. the time, Scotty Prince, LaFranco, Chris oh, yeah, Campbell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were they getting hidings yes. back then too? Oh, <laughs> they were. Not really. Hey, hey, hey. I, know, I, know, I, know, I was like, oh, one day they're. <laughs> now, they, oh, they had wow. good, um, what's they had good what's um, players then. What's that? Yeah. What's that, sorry? <laughs> 
No, <laughs> so I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, See, he he wants uh, he wants you to come to the Titans. <laughs> ah man, their squad's pretty hissing that way. Yeah, Ooh. I think um, the Titans' money is all on uh, two players, really. All their caps on two players. Oh, yeah, so I don't think you can go there. Don't <laughs> uh, get money at the dogs, brother. Just, come on, we need some help. Come on. <laughs> well, well, Graham here. He's, he's saying the Warriors need a winger also. If you. <laughs> oh, oh bro, the Warriors have got too many. They're signing all the Aussie boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah too, too, many, hey, too many Aussie boys, but not enough, uh, you know, trophies. <laughs> if you know what I mean, eh? Like, <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, sorry, guys. That was a bad joke. Hey, hey. Let's get serious, guys. Let's get serious. <laughs> hey, also, um, just, just back to um, first of thing 40 and um, your transition into like the the professional realm. Um, how was that? How was that for you? Um, was it a like a, a huge gap between um, first 15 and then making those. Mm. I know you probably would have been playing like rip football throughout your, your time and you're yeah. there. Um, but the the gap between, I think, going from first 15 to under 18s, I think it was maybe or under yeah. 19. How much of the, like, um, the, uh, I guess, change? Was there much change there? I think at that time, um, yeah, it was a massive um, jump for me, um, especially because mm. um, obviously because oh, I played a bit of sevens at the end of my last year of school, and then I I made the New Zealand sevens team the oh. first year out of school, and that was massive jump because I, to be honest, like I wasn't really good with like my diet. Because I was just eating <laughs> pies and going to the bakery and then just high relying, school, yeah, high school I was just on my natural talent. But <clears throat> when I look back, I'm like, wow, if I could do things differently, I would have actually like, you know, nice. done uh, done it properly. But yeah, I found it huge because eh? not only like the professionalism, but like, you know, the training and stuff like. I, I I went from doing I went from doing no gym in school to doing like weights like four times a week, <laughs> oh, and like all the running and stuff. Like I wasn't my body wasn't used to that. Was yeah. Titchen still Was Titchen still there? Yeah, he was there. Ah oh, man, even to this day, I still think that Titchen's is the hardest coach I've ever been. <laughs> Ooh, been oh, wow. Yeah, he's got a rip for that though. Eh? Everyone knows that his his uh, his training is yeah. next level. So, and uh, and uh, sorry, just going back on your diet, bro. Like <laughs> we always have a laugh about that because back oh. in school, and as the boys know, and you probably know, um, you know, you don't get the the healthy snacks that oh. that that are put out <laughs> now. But like when you look at it, the the food that we used to like. You know, snack on was just mm. yeah, pies, fizzies, Don't you know, us. before a game, and yeah. that'll be the the go. But now you see kids that are like 14, 15, mm. 13 maybe, and you know they're already in the gym doing yeah. all that stuff. You're like, fuck, they're, they're yeah, next level. It's, the gap is like it's closing now, but mm. you can just see the the change in in sports. Yeah, yeah, I'm just surprised of like how young all these kids are, like you know, learning all of those like healthy mm. tips and like routines at this age and I, I kind of wish I had that back in the day but I guess everything happens for a reason <laughs> 100 man because that like for you as you said you just went to, to sevens now, obviously you you were you were really good so mm. Titchen saw it the world saw it and you know and I've seen a few photos of your you know all the abs and the, you got abs everywhere on your <laughs> all the cuts everywhere so far abs, on your abs, eh? abs, on, your abs, abs. on your abs uh, abs on your up. your behind <laughs> 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 but bro that's uh no credit to you credit to the the work that you you still continue to do because you're still a professional mm. um just moving into uh i guess uh for you when you left new zealand rugby and then taking that leap overseas mm. um how, how was that 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 change how was that like you know Oh damn! I'm gonna finish up here. I'm gonna move over overseas because, for a Kiwi kid, especially me, you know, uh, professional back in my days, really, <laughs> just 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 seeing our own people uh, make the the move, you know, make and because obviously these well, I don't know if there's a lot of money, but there's a lot of money that people you see on TV make mm. the move to go overseas. Yeah, um, 
during that time, like, I was going through a lot, like, personally. And because especially, like, that was my last year with the Blues. And um, I didn't really have anything on the table from any of the other teams in New Zealand. So when I got given the opportunity um, to go overseas, I thought to myself, like, am I doing the right thing? And mm. is, it, is it too early? Or, you know, so I had a lot of things going in my mind. And I looked at it as like a, as like a way to like, not get away from it, but to learn something different. And like, to better my rugby as well. So when I do, oh, like, if I do come back, like, I've got all these other skills, assets, and everything else that yeah. I've, I've learned and picked up along the way and hopefully bring it back here and, yeah. you know. So, yeah, yeah, I found that as, like, a massive growing um, opportunity for me. And um, I really enjoyed my time overseas. Like, obviously, there's a few things that, like, I didn't really, you know, like or I didn't adapt to. But yeah. um, I think... During my time, especially when I was in Japan, um, because I went to France first for the first couple of years, mm, and mm. the third year I went to Japan, but then I came back because of COVID. But during my time in Japan, I, I actually enjoyed it there because the rugby is similar, like it's fast and you know, good flowing, yeah, a bit more physical, eh? And um, in France, as well, it was really physical, and they just relied on like scrums, lineouts. Yeah, kicked the ball a lot, so I didn't really like that style of play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can see that too, like Japanese style and like um, the European <laughs> style. Are totally yeah. different because when you see the the flow of rugby in Japan, you see all the Islanders love it, man, because yeah. you know they yeah. catch the ball, and you see these yeah. big wingers just <laughs> smoking these little. You know, I'm I'm not sure if they're smoking them, but it's going, and you see their 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 stats at the end of the game they're like three tries and that's the same thing i think with when you started or sorry when you went over i think you would have scored like maybe 20 tries in your first game didn't you oh. <laughs> 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 20 assists nah. <laughs> but do you have do you have a like a do you have like a, a, a your most memorable try or try that 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 uh one that you remember fondly from what in Japan That's right, or yeah, in France? Anytime, bro. Like uh, super ITM. Uh, your time overseas. Um, there was one try that I scored off a kickoff. I forgot what year it was, but I was playing for Auckland still. It was like it was raining like hard out. Couldn't even see that oh. like the ball where the ball was coming from. But I was fortunate <laughs> enough to catch the ball off the kickoff. I think I ran like 80 meters. <laughs> uh, in the rain as well. <laughs> early. Against well, the Chiefs. Like, I think it was early. early. I think it was against the Chiefs. Hey? <laughs> I was like, oh, lucky the rain was like, you know, all the rain was going yeah. in the opposition. Oh, and ice, everyone's they ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Musa was saying, was that against the Chiefs? I think it was against nah, the Chiefs. I think it was against, oh, when I was playing for Auckland in the MPC. I, we played against oh. Bear Plenty. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's close yeah. enough. That's their region anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll just blame the Chiefs then, eh? <laughs> oh, I think they had steam in their eyes. That's why there was a steam. <laughs> 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 who who were your... Um, oh, talking about tries, also, um, um, we heard a story about um, you of your younger days of you scoring 15 tries. Um, oh, is that, is game, that true or false? <laughs> or if you have a story, oh, um, please let the viewers know. I'm sure they want to know. Don't be shy. Also, no need to be humble, bro. Ah, uh, it's true. But like, oh, that's when it was like when the field was only like half half the field. So all I was doing was just running sideways for like 30 meters, and then <laughs> <laughs> like those rugby away tries. Yeah, yeah, rugby away. <laughs> yeah, nah. Oh, yeah. Like when I was playing, like in like the under under eight or under nine, I felt like I was the John of that, yeah. um, yeah. you know, era. Mm. So. <laughs> but then as, the, as I got older and then playing full field, and everyone was getting bigger, and I was like, oh man, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So basically, it was um, it wasn't teamwork back when when he scored that fifteen um, fifteen tries. There, it was just just give it to Lolangi, just oh. give it to him every game. Did you even well, have honestly, a team? Like, or did they give so I'll be like, oh, can someone else run? <laughs> 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 We've just got a um, a great question from the chat from uh, Graham Jackson. Uh, Graham asks, uh, "Who's the best player you've played alongside? Any?" Super ITM. Well, I can see you playing next to um, Josh Edo Coles, but that's another talk for another time. <laughs> uh, I think I've had a few um, big players that I've played with, uh, with, but I think one of them would be Manonu. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, because one year, oh, wow. 2014, and like all my tries came from that, like him setting me up. Yeah. It's like he always knew the right moment when to pass the ball or when to kick. So I was like, I was just lucky to be in the right place at the right time, and you know, to be able to run alongside him. Like, you know, that was like, because I was, I was still young at that time. I think I was twenty mm. one. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's me, bro. Um, hey, I've just got a, a question, like. Like in terms of like Super Rugby, uh, like you've um, like you played most of your games so far with the Blues, um, and also you um, spent some time with the Canes in that. Uh, like in terms of now playing for Moana Pasifika, like how much more does it mean for you to play for for them, um, and like um, being able to rip not just uh, like a province or, or a franchise in that sense, but more of um, rep representing and playing for for a people for. Uh, or whole ocean also yeah it's um to be honest like when i first heard about um moana pacifica like i was like thinking to myself man it'll be mean to be a part of that and now it's you know it's actually happening and, and now i'm in the team and stuff it's really special eh? like you know not, not only for us boys but for our families and and all the past players that have mm. that have been through like you know all the Pacific Islanders that have played for the All Blacks, Wallabies, like all the other big teams, like, you know, it's a it's a massive honor and a privilege to be representing those guys as well. Like yeah. you know, obviously um they've been trying to do this for many years, like mm. I think since when Super Rugby first started, but now to see it happen in you know, in real life, like it's yeah, it's pretty special. Like uh, not only for like us Samoans, but like, you know, all the other islands as well, yeah. Tongans, Fijians. Yeah. Bro, that's mean, bro. I, I, and I guess that goes into a uh, good segue into uh, another question that we've got from one of our um, viewers, um, uh, Walter, who's asked, um, like, have you thought about pleading your allegiance to Samoa just with the new eligibility rules mm. and stuff um, and, and all of that stuff in place? Has it ever crossed your mind at any point? I was actually like really stoked when I when I heard about the, the new, like the new rule when it changed. Mm. Because you know I've I've been waiting for ages like and they and they keep trying to um in the last six seven years so I'm been asking you but it was hard because like um, of, of obviously of the uh, eligibility rules because yeah. I played for New Zealand Seven so but now that it's finally changed like yeah I've I've already told my family and like a few of my friends that I want to uh, play my allegiance this year Me, I want to try and aim for the um. I think it's the June or July international window. I think there's oh, the Pacific yeah, yeah. Nations Cup. So hopefully, yeah. Is this is this breaking news or? Oh, I think oh, that's what I've been, that's what I've been hearing. But hopefully, I'll, I'll you heard available. it here first. Oh, you heard it here first. Be available. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's mean, bro. That that's a good question too, Walter. Thanks for that question, man. But um, just going back um to. You know, Moana Pacifica, and I know it's like we're ten years late in trying to create this. Um, well, you know, this being created, which is also a good time that it's actually started. Like um, we've we've got a team for for our people, and mm. also the eligibility um, rules have been changed. Yeah. It just gives more, I guess. Um, there's more fight for our people to like mm. have a, a really good team. Like, a, I'm not saying that our teams weren't. Are able to compete with these big teams, but it's just that you know, 
um, when when these big teams select a player and for one test, and you know it just it just throws our our teams, you know we don't get it's like we don't have any scraps to actually yeah. feed off our our players, but mm. again I've been talking to a lot of the boys about how this is like you know we're years behind we 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 could have been we could have had like you know Samoa in the top top three top four easily, but but because world rugby is taking it has taken its time. Um, oh, sorry. I should just get straight to the question. Um, do you do you reckon? Do you reckon we'll, we will be competing at uh, next year's? As we, I mean, like Samoa, Tonga, uh, Fiji. Do you reckon we'll be more competitive uh, yeah. come World Cup? Yeah, I reckon it will. Eh? Um, I reckon all the other now that the rules changed. I reckon all the other countries are they're low key like scared. They're worried. Mm. Yeah. Because obviously, like, to be honest, like, the Pacific Islanders is what makes rugby like, what it is now. Like, oh, I agree, man. Every totally. team in the world is at least got one, two, or three Pacific Islanders. Mm. And I don't, I don't think, it, like, if there was no Pacific Islanders in a team, I don't reckon, you know, they, they would be as good as it is right now. So, yeah, yeah, from... Obviously, yeah, they, they are going to fear us because, you know, now that the boys that have been kind of like, trap and playing for their you know islands the last five ten years now now they're able to you know go play for them and represent their families and also want want the team to actually do well mm. like it's frustrating when you see you know when people put up those posts or oh, what Samoa Tonga Fiji would look like if these guys are playing like yeah you know, when you that it's like wow oh, man it would be mean as but now yeah. that there's an opportunity like hopefully like they can actually you know happen and Right. Was the glow bug? Was the glow bug there, mana? Yeah, just ran down to the shop and grabbed a uh, top of favorites. Sorry. Eh? I told you, brother, twenty dollars, not ten, brother. It's twenty dollars. You pop that. They got that green guy in. They will last you twenty-four. Hours. Normally, ten dollars get us to a show, but. <laughs> no, no. Now, keeping on that same subject, um, with that, uh the players, you know, the, the Island boys going back to their nations. Um, was there, uh, cause I, I, well, I coached the Cook Island team against the Tongan, um, just recently last year. Mm. And, um, there was players we couldn't get or they weren't allowed to play. Um, do you reckon that will be, um, a big, uh, big obstacle in the future? Knowing that the Island boys are the pinnacle of rugby at the moment? Yeah, I guess, like, yeah, that's hard when some of those boys that want to play hard out mm. for their, their nation, but are restricted, I don't know, probably different reasons. But I guess, like, if they're already in contracts, like, that's one thing that they're yeah. looking at, like, either releasing some players or keeping players because they're probably mm. worried that if they get injured, then, you know, that's going to yeah. stuff up the rest of their yeah. contract. Or So I think, yeah, it's just a, yeah, it's a massive... Um, Thing on the on on the play itself, like do you think about those kind of things? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. Nice. Hey, bro, I've got um got a uh, like a really important question to ask you. Uh, it's actually from a viewer. Um, Alenzo has asked uh, when you'll be featuring in the next Samson Squad clip. Uh, <laughs> 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 Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I'll just be the uh, behind the scenes um. People. <laughs> are you are you extras or are you a choreographer? Extras, you'll see my name in the credits. <laughs> and, uh, sponsors. I'll be holding like the lights or like I don't know, doing something. Uh, I was just I uh, just want to cover a little bit What's of your own um, risk? ITM. <laughs> just want to cover a little bit of um, ITM Cup. I know when you returned from Japan, um, you mentioned that. Um, uh, you came back because of COVID and stuff, and um, like you, I don't know whether or not you had you had any uh, any bites and stuff, but um, you ended up landing um, and playing uh, ITM with Hawks Bay, um, and bro, like that was you were part of what I thought was their golden run. Um, what did they do? They um, got what, won the championship. You guys won the championship title. 
Uh, you guys won the Ranfurly Shield, and you still have it. Uh, you you guys have retained it uh, last year as well. Just in regards to that, bro, like, like how, how was that for you? Um, like getting that um, whole province behind you, and and how did that motivate like yourself and and the rest of your team just to like you know be able to play as well as you guys did, bro? Because that that was a me numbers, bro, and, and just like you jumped up, you debuted off the bench, and then you started. For the rest of that se- for the rest of that first season, and um, like but personal <laughs> accolade, I know that you, I know that you ended up with rook- rookie of the year for um for that team as well, bro. The so. oldest rookie of the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking about the third, third year seven uh, twenty one year olds playing in that. <laughs> nah, I was like, when I came back from Japan, and then like you know in the middle of um level four lockdown, like mm. yeah, obviously you couldn't do anything, and there was nothing happening for me at the time. But like, um, I had a really good talk with my partner, and you know, like, because we didn't, I oh, I didn't know what was going to happen for the rest of the year or the, even the next year. So all I can control was what I do yeah. in the meantime. Yeah, so me and my partner, time, like, we we pretty much train nearly every day just to try and like keep fit and keep like keep active, and hopefully if something comes up, like I'll be ready to take it. Mm, and which it mean, eventually did, like later in that year, yeah. um, Hawks Bay, um. Yeah, they hit me up and because the t- the two coaches were the two coaches when I was at Calston, so that kind of made uh, yeah. the oh, transition yeah. a bit easier. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we already had a connection, so <laughs> it was pretty crack up because they haven't even changed. They're still the same same guys as they <laughs> were back at Calston. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, and like, I guess yeah that's, that's, a... that's probably where uh, that's we got an album. Are you, are you playing that Ranfurly Shield match? I think we got one in July, I think, or August, or one. Of, I think it's yeah, yeah July. That's, that's a good. That's, well, I probably um, might be playing so. South Canterbury. Yeah, South oh, Canterbury. Yeah. So that's a good thing because that's this that's my region. That's where I am now. And, hey. um, yeah, there'll be some of my boys here. Some of my boys in this club here. Um, They'll be playing against, you know, going for the shield. So, <laughs> so please don't play. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you never know, man. Anything can happen. So, sorry, sorry, mother. Yeah. Sorry, mother. Who, who's playing? T- Timuka versus Hawks Bay? No, nah, um, uh, South Canterbury. Um, Timuka's a part of South Canterbury. Um, rugby union. Oh, and, they, and you are playing, um, well, no. you might play Hawks Bay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I've Canterbury's got Hawks Bay 50 Bay plus. I've got <laughs> well, 50, 50 plus in the first half, or oh. <laughs> I think uh, Lolani's gonna yeah, be uh, yeah, doing his uh, f- uh, doing a repeat of his uh, 15 nah, tries. Again. <laughs> game, game gonna play, play. high tackle, Lolani. Let's <laughs> <laughs> play Lolangi. five tries first half. <laughs> but but that, that that was a good point that that you raised, like in regards to coming back, um, and and not being sure of, of what to hit but but staying ready um and then like just um like you know being prepared for for whatever was to come man and and i think that that paid dividends because if, if you don't do that um yeah. you don't you don't end up playing for hawks bay and then um you don't end up at the canes and then at, at moana mm-hmm. pacifica bro so i think that's a good lesson for 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 any of us watching or listening especially for the younger ones too like um you know if if you want to like you know, if you want your opportunities, you got to make sure you're ready, man, mm. for for when they come up. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess in saying that, um, I, I think a couple more questions. We won't take up too much of your time. Um, also, uh, I know that you want to go back to um to your uh, to your PlayStation. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm over it now. <laughs> but um. Yeah, you guys, guys, got any any more um, questions? Uh, I know we've got a few on on here as well. Oh yeah, uh, uh, just one from me. Um, how many points you'll put on Timuka now? Sorry, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't a professional rugby player, was, um, what career path do you think you would have taken? That's a good question, eh? Like, um, if it wasn't uh, not sports or I don't know, mechanic, I don't know. Brother. Um, I guess me like. I've always loved um, working with kids. So, like, I wanted to do, like, social working or, like, just anything to do with the community or, Mm. yeah. So, like, I did a couple of times where I did, like, some, like, rugby, like, 
programs and stuff, like just to help like skills and skills and drills for the kids, or even just like going to like schools and like talk and stuff. Like that, that's something that I'll be pretty keen at doing. Sure, thanks for that. Is that um, is that something that you think about towards the end of your rugby career? Yeah, because like you know, when you look at it in reality, like a lot of kids, especially Pacific Islanders, that like some don't even have like homes or like you know can't afford to go to school yeah. or yeah. Mm, or like they don't quite like they they have a dream of being like a you know professional rugby player or something, but they could they don't really quite reach that. So mm. yeah, yeah. It's something that I want to try and like. You know, um, Help out with the, the kids coming through. Solid. That's um, that's true because you know we um, especially for yourself uh, as a professional, being everywhere, uh, you know, basically travel the world, and to have someone of your, you know, your your caliber to to reach out to these the community and say, you know, this you don't have to be a rugby player to do this, but you can achieve something uh, later on in life. Mm. Um, mm. I don't. Yeah, like a teacher. But um, just for you, as in, um, uh, I guess when you finish coming out of out of your lockdown, uh, how's how's the team looking, um, and how are you feeling, bro? Um, I think you know, obviously we've had a lot of obstacles, you know, the, over the last two weeks. But um, I feel like the team's like in good, like good spirit. Like you know, all the boys are positive and. Um, Positive vibes at training, and, and then no matter like the results in the past games, like you know, boys still like um, know that you know they can be better and um, just trust in each other and stuff. So yeah, I guess the, going back to, into training tomorrow, just looking forward to like um, getting back to the boys and you know hopefully play the next game. I think we got Hurricanes yeah. on Tuesday after this week. Mm, so yeah, hopefully I'm available for that game. Yes. Nice, nice. Because um, Bona, uh, sorry, uh, Musa was telling us a while back that he re he didn't even give you guys a chance, eh? Like no. at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he was like every time, but every time we go on and talk about Mona Pacific, I'm like I say my like say everything, you know. I think they're gonna do be doing well, uh, especially against these Australian teams, because this guy hates every New Zealand team himself. So, <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to the um. I guess the trans Tasman battle between um, mm. our Kiwi teams, um, but yeah, bro. Um, I guess for us, we're we're always supporting not only yourself uh, but uh, more on the Pacifica because you know you're oh, representing no. us as well. Mm. But true blue fan, true blue fan. So we'll we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so good, man. Thanks for that. <laughs> nah, yo. Um, Sweet man, Th thank you, Lorangi, for um for for joining us, man. We really right, appreciate man. that, and um I know we've got well, we there was a lot more we wanted to cover, but um um it is what it is, and I think it was good that we were able to um you know just just ask you questions and stuff based off of the answers that, that you're giving and letting it go with the flow, bro. We wish you uh, all the best heading back into training, um yes, uh, and uh, with the squad tomorrow, and, and also for the rest of the season. Please score 15 tries against the Brumbies. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> and the Chiefs. Um, and, I, yeah, uh, and just right. one against the Chiefs, please. Um, but before, <laughs> before we um, but before we let you go, um, I guess any any parting words or, or anything just for um, our viewers and, um, and our and our listeners and and yeah, for for anyone else, man. Oh, geez, man. No, I really appreciate the opportunity to come and um, yeah, to talk with you guys and um, talk about my my life and also my rugby. But yeah. Just, um, just for those that are wanting to um, get into like any type of sport, just you know that uh, make sure that you um, believe in yourself. You know, set some goals, and um, yeah, just never give up. You know, if things go tough, just just know that there's always there's always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel, and and Thanks. yeah, just have the right people to support you. Yeah, yeah. all I can say. Nice. Thanks, Us. Uh, thanks for um, jumping on. Um, we appreciate your um, your time and uh, you know, give our, I guess, our, our 
your family uh, the love because you know you're just spent meant to be 30 minutes with us but now it's going over time and I can't afford you so uh, thanks good. brother thanks for jumping on Cheers, and we're just going to cut to our um, cut to our sponsor thanks All right. <laughs> what a great man. Legend, Good eh? man. Good man. So as you as you can see, guys, um, thank you to our sponsor, oh, Crucial Flooring. If you if you didn't catch that, right. um, Crucial much, Flooring. Man. If you're after anything uh, to do with uh, it, flooring, vinyl, uh, changing something in the house that uh, involves flooring, uh, reach out to the, yeah, to the yes, brother man. Luffs. Uh, I don't know if I, if he was cutting out or was I cutting out? No, I think Brian's just joined in and then yeah, especially removing back himself. Off. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, that's uh, crucial flooring, guys. Thank you. Um, I don't know we've got not not that long to go, but just quickly, uh, we just got another sponsor we want to thank. Uh, so we'll just get that through. Solid, TJ. Eh? TJA <laughs> construction guys. So uh anything to do with construction, you know, hit up the team. Man, they, those those photos are pretty crisp, eh? You know, the 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 craftsmanship that's involved in oh. uh you know changing a lot of the stuff there. So now uh TJA construction, thank you team for jumping on board and um uh supporting the uh the latched podcast. Um even though we're not professionals, um, we know we're, we're glad to take everyone's money if you if you want to give us something. <laughs> uh, nice boys. Hey, um, just to, to carry on from where we left off, man. That was good energy, eh? From thanks for understanding that. Running. Like we only have yeah. like, uh, a, like a, a bear or, or a feed to, to shout you or something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Um, anyway, so to carry out of our show, boys, we're just going to get straight into our heavies, eh? Mm. We'll start off with the inner... Uh, oh, actually, we'll start off with the Brumbies. Let's hit over yeah, the um, yeah. I'm just going to yeah. make it short and simple, man. We just weren't in it. We lost the second half. No points. We were lost in the game. That's it. End of story. <laughs> we are lost, bro. We, we scored seven points in the first half. We, we had to chase the whole second half. Yeah. We look lost. We look... Was that the Brumbies, bro? Yeah. So seven points in eighty minutes is not good enough. So, yeah. And you guys had, uh, and and there was a red card, and you guys still couldn't capitalize on that. Nah. Even when the, with the tongue and saw out a uh, yellow cut, we still didn't do much. So I think I think our podcast last week. I think Tiz asked me. Oh, I, I forgot what he asked me, but I was telling him about we need to start playing like our second half to the full 80 because if we don't then like these games will happen and it happened we have yeah first yeah i remember that yeah. you need to play the whole yeah. the whole 80 you know coming out not only just playing halves you know i remember that bro but just in saying that with the uh, with the brumbies brumbies and reds they're they you know the top two teams that uh, their, their battle mm. yeah. it was a good battle but in saying that it doesn't take anything away from the Brumbies because, you know, they still, they still, I guess, on a, trying to perfect the full, I guess, eighty minute. So, yeah, um, we have to, and we have to fast because the the NZ games are coming up soon. And if we're gonna look like this, then we yeah. can just we can just mm. send in the schoolboys here because we're not gonna win any games. Guys, I've got a but, theory about this. Can I share it? <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. I, I think the whole Australian super competition um, is not just to see who's the best uh, in, in the Aussie conference with um, 
with the draw as well. I think um, they've got that super comp running um, just to, you know, get everyone confident um, enough <laughs> for when they go over to the New Zealand teams and get a hiding. <laughs> I well, think it happened just... last year. It, was, it happened last year. It was always like this. I think they're just staying race. warm, keeping each other warm week by week. Um to gain a bit of confidence. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, until nah. something happens in the grassroots level in Australian rugby, um, yeah. they're never, they're ne- uh, in terms of in terms of that, they're never going to be on par with New Zealand rugby. But carry on. Carry nah, on. I, I agree. Also, because I don't know if a lot of people know that Australian rugby, they don't have it in, in, in colleges and schools. They only have it in their, what is it, schoolboys? It's like prestigious schools. Private, yeah. private schools. It's, yeah. not, it's not like, private, yeah, private yeah. schools, sorry. It's not like NZ. It's like played from primary, intermediate, like, College was 15, and then you get, you know, all these other age groups. But in Oz, it's always private schools, and that's why the Wallabies or the ARU is always going to be behind against the international sides, let alone Brumbies. So I know we lost, but we got to get back on that horse soon because uh, we got some yeah. games co- um, coming up, and we want to still be on top of the table as we are now. Yeah. Bro, you guys are going to win that anyway, like win that whole Aussie conference, bro. Now, even though I, I've got confidence that we'll win it, but my main concern is to, when we come here and play good footy. Because if we don't, yeah. then it's the whole waste of time having an Oz conference. We might as well just stay in Oz and play and just have an Aussie Cup. <laughs> Aussie Cup. Yeah, so if we don't, if we come here, we get sassed by even Highlanders, and Highlanders are looking like rebels over here, then I don't, I don't understand why we need to come here and try and play. You guys yeah, might, as well, might as well play for the Far Cup. <laughs> but there was um there was, I don't know if it's old news or new news, but that that Ire Ire Simone um mm. leaving leaving the club next year is it? I I, I or, haven't read too much into that, but there were talks that he was leaving um the team next year, but I'm not so sure. Uh, yeah, it was, it was some talk about him not making the um the Australian. I guess training squad or something. So, well, I don't know. if you look at the, the Aussie backs, the twelve and thirteen, they're always gonna give either either O'Connor, um, who else? There's Kieran Drani. Mm. Um, there's um, Jordan Pataya. That's not necessarily a fullback or wing. They're always gonna put them in the midfield. Like yeah. really Reds backs, Reds and Brumbies backs mix. But that's why I don't think you know Simone will make uh, Wallabies. Well, it's a good battle, bro. Like. For that centre, you know, from 10, 12, 13, there's, it's a, I guess, a good uh, competitive uh, vibe within the clubs, but also for Australia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like I said, we, we better turn it around quick because, oh, man, I was pissed at that second half. No points, even with a yellow card. And still. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So their final score was uh, just a reminder. It was just twenty-one-seven to the Reds. Uh, I don't think the people uh, need a reminder. <laughs> the people know what they watch. <laughs> so let's, let's move on, please. <laughs> and that was for the Reds. Yeah. So we'll leave the best to last. So uh, we'll go over to the Chiefs and the Hurricanes. Uh, Wolves, um, Brands. That looked like a close game. Um, the final score was twenty-nine thirty, and far up. That, was close, took man. Us through, yeah, took us through your thoughts of that game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't catch all of it, but um, I think I was watching the league at the time. But uh, I think Kane's had the better of us, especially going into half time. Um, they had the lead in, and for most of that game, it did seem like uh, they were going to get a roll on. But um, Chiefs clawed, clawed their way back, um, and I think we were leading by, I think, eight uh, the last 10 minutes or something. Um, yeah. And then uh, Kane's got a roll on, and um, if you guys seen that solo try that um, from Adi, uh, that, that Adi, bro, mm. like, that, that Adi got just 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 tapped it and just pretty much ran like ran for the line, like uh, no self preservation or anything. Um, that just that typifies the, the, the kind of player that he is. Um, here, uh, jump on my back, I'll take you there. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Um, they ended up trailing by one for the rest of that game. Um, mm. They from from kickoff when we kicked it back off, they had a chance to, to um, find their way downfield. Uh, all they needed was a penalty or something, and then they could have won it. But um, yeah. Duplessis, Griffey, he knocked the ball on, um, and from there led to a 
uh, from Brent Kevin. Yeah. Um, and then that was we clutch, got, eh? yeah, yeah, that was that was clutch, main clutch, bro. And then from there, uh, we stayed up. I think Super Secrecy gave away that last penalty as well. I think hands in the ruck or something. Um, I, I got something to say about like hmm. the, the the ref that game, like there was so many penalties that they were against, uh, especially Duplessis. Mm. But in some of those penalties, like he was, he there was no foul, oh not foul, sorry, there was there's no penalty needed. He was that quick to be there on the ball, and because he was that low, that they, the the ref, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. blew his blew his um his whistle yeah. too early. But the guy is just too strong, you know. He's there fast and. I think with some of these rifts these days, if you have a fast player, yeah, they're gonna. Um, if you, sorry, if you're awarding uh, all these penalties to this one player, eventually, it's just gonna be second nature, and the rift just blows it for the sake of just blowing it. So yeah, yeah. Um, he was hard done by in some of those calls, uh, and and he did obviously cause some of them, and it was his fault. But and yeah, I I reckon it was like more fifty fifty. If the mm -hmm. ref would have seen he was on the ball. Not like using, he or he was using his own weight. Sorry, and I guess as a like as a flanker, like you know, he's, there's there's that line, um, there's yeah, that line like yeah, like you're you're gonna cross it or you you either bend it or you break it, and I That's think it, eh? yeah, and I think given that um, like given that he's the kind of player that uh, that he is um, and his yeah. playing style, um, yeah. it it does mean that it, it sort of rocks and diamonds with him at the same time. Um, so whether his playing style is a benefit or, or a bit of a hindrance in some circumstances, um, I know I was talking to one of my boys, um, uh, uh, an avid Hurricane supporter, and, and he shares the same sentiments um, in regards to um, him having um, like being rocks and diamonds, like getting the good, but also um, the frustrating uh, the frustrating parts as well. But I don't know. You live you live by the sword and you die by the sword, man. And I think he's a mean yeah. player. Um, yeah. You're right. I think he was hard done by, but that just shows how how good he is. And I know the refs are working closely with the super team. So if he can get some clarification from the ref that um, is alongside the Canes this week, that'll yeah. be mean. Because you're right, man. Like he he carves when he's on, he's on. Um, yeah. But yeah, in saying that, we've got the Blues this weekend. Um, do you guys want to cover your guys' game? Um, uh, moving on to the NRL. <laughs> Um, a lot of good games. Nah, go on, Blues Brothers. I know you want to talk about your win. <laughs> no, we're just humble, eh? Just grateful for the win. Oh, here we go. The humble talk. <laughs> I like to frank the ref. And, uh, no. <laughs> uh, full credit to the lads uh, for turning up on the on the day. Now, nah, but uh, just quickly, uh, you know, we had uh, Mona Pacifica on the Tuesday, and then had to back it up on the on the Saturday without some of our our AB players uh, who were taking a break. Uh, I just I think all round we played good, but at the same time, uh, Mona Pacifica ex exposed our um, our mall again. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, getting into that um, that five meter where. But with most most teams already know that it's it's quite like sensitive for for blues fans <laughs> because you know it's always there's always going to be a try if, if you know how to maul mm. and and I think and hopefully you know this week we have done our training to play against Chiefs because Chiefs Ford packs is just next level man. Did you have um, players out for um, not out but like rested? Against one of us week, I didn't really catch the game, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we had a few out. The All Blacks boys were out. Mm. Oh, yeah. um, Just resting for yeah. the Chiefs game. Uh, no, we got um the ABs have, have given uh the Kiwi teams. Uh, so when you have you take a break from from playing footy, mm. so it's now in the hands of uh the franchises to. To make that decision to take a break, not from okay. you know the All Blacks saying, "Or hey, you need to take a break now." So I don't, I don't, I, guess. I don't know if you remember. Um, sorry, I'm in test. Um, a couple of episodes ago, when you had Mono Plus Figure the first time, I actually went for the Mono Plus Figure to upset you, and it yeah. felt like when the brother um, we see Neil was just on the podcast, you threw me under the bus there. <laughs> so, I don't know why you done that, brother. 
Because I heard one of us. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the podcast I went for the investigation. I can't remember. I can't remember. Teams are just bending together, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think you just hate our team, bro, because we're good. No, I just hate you. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I did that. I ran that. Um, well, we ran that. Um, sorry, we ran that. Um, that poll where um, uh, we asked from Craig and uh, possible ABs Bolter. Um, 45% said not yet, not ready. Oh, uh, 45% said yes, uh, but 55% uh, said not ready. But man, like with a hat trick in the back of the mall as well. Um, and just, just the way he's going this year, like, um, what do you guys reckon, man? Like, for like Mana, yeah. Tez, as good supporters? I guess um, against Moana, we can, we can take something away like that. But maybe we'll see it against uh, the Crusaders or uh, the Chiefs this week. Um, yeah, hundred yeah. well, well, hat hat trick against like hat trick against Moana. Like yeah, it's Moana. Like that's what some people might say. But like yeah, given the the whole season so far, it's yeah, been mean, bro. yeah, he, yes. he he's um he he's a player that we've I think missed since uh, Mialamu. You know, uh, we needed we needed someone consist- consistent with uh, set pieces, mm. Mm. Um, but also doing uh, a lot of the donkey work. So um, early days, early days, and I think for me, I was part of that forty five percent because um, we you have the hookers, the, the likes of um, you know the Chiefs hooker, the. Asafo more, you know, these guys are actually performing oh. against big teams, you know, turning up, playing. So then you have, you know, Cody, he's he's a store, you know, he's 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 held that jersey for for a long time. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting interesting yeah. to, to see, bro. It's gonna be interesting to see whether he um where most teams hide against these these uh like the likes of Chiefs and the Satyrs. But um I'm I'm actually keeping an uh keeping a close eye on on that game or on his uh, performance. Sorry. When is, sorry, when is Test Rugby? Uh, June, July. June, I think from June. International game. It's June, yeah, international. It's June. Yep. So yeah, that was yeah. awesome. Right? So exactly that, man. Sweet, uh, Cody. I reckon if he keeps up, then yes. But if he goes up against Sadas and Chiefs. Be another story. Mm. Oh, no. he's, 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 yeah, he, he's um he's a good player, but yeah, I think that that's game of the round day, eh? Chiefs, Chiefs and Blues this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven oh five, uh Saturday night. Um we're going down with the sponsor's car. He doesn't know yet. Thank you, Maddie, for sponsoring us to go down. <laughs> uh just yeah, just quick tips, man. I reckon Chiefs um thirteen plus. <laughs> Can someone remove this dude? I think he's angry at me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I reckon, cause... yeah, I reckon that tip will be blues. Uh, of course, you'll say blues. 12, yeah, twelve and under. I reckon. Be Can you just tip your, tip your chair over and fall over, please? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm. I'm going the same with uh, Mana twelve and under, and obviously Brands. He's going. Bro, these last. Yeah, Chiefs, bro, like only just our last couple games against each other has gone down to the wire. Uh, yeah. So I'll be close. It'll be, 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 be a good derby match, bro. Well, yeah. I did say that. I did say that um, Blues Chiefs will be the final day earlier on um, one of our early You did, podcasts. and you also you also said that you think the Chiefs can still make it, but you didn't say that about the Blues. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about these fans, eh, Brent? I don't know about these fans. Yeah. We took our biases away from this. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> everyone else does that too. <laughs> and hey, straight on to the, um, our, another heavy, is, which is NRL. Um, I guess we'll kick it off with uh, the Titans and a special oh, mission you. to the uh, the Warriors so, after that. I thought you could say put your hands up if you won on the weekend. But, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I couldn't see your hand because your video keeps cutting off. 
Hang on, just, we're just trying to sign um, Vicinia in the background. Just hang on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, Titans was on and wicked. Um, we are... We are still a young team, and those million dollar boys still need to turn up. But, um, yeah, one one turned up, I reckon, but it's just gonna be consistent, eh? Um, Titans just, oh, man, I don't know. It it's... always, sorry, it, was, it always gets to me that, um, those guys will turn up for Titans. No, they will, but when yeah. they, oh man, it's always for Origin, eh? It's just different. They just go missing, yeah. or maybe I'm just talking about last year. Maybe I'm just talking about <laughs> last year's series when they just went. I don't they just started yeah. hitting like centers. They were in the backs. I don't know if we were watching the same game, but n- neither of those teams were on. That was the most Dude, boring game I've ever watched. That was Tigers Titans, right? That was just, just yeah. Um, a really yeah, yeah. Grind I, was hope, I was hoping it, it would either end in a draw or that the power <laughs> was cut and the game was caught off. Like that's how. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, we're coming to Yoga Girls guys' team soon, so. <laughs> You gotta get it. <laughs> no, um, again, sorry, just want to touch on um, the Titans' performance. I think most teams, because I'm just gonna add my team in there soon. Most teams are like their performances. These hardly like I, I'd probably put Eels, mm. uh, and who's another team at the moment? Eels as like the 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 the, the lead runners. The favorites um, that yeah. are playing consistently. Every other team hasn't turned up. Like they'll play a good game one match or a one oh. round, and then bro, totally different the next. So it's I, I guess everyone's trying Pinner's to find their pinners up there. They they five and zero, aren't they? Yeah. Or four. Is that a good yeah. thing? Like, is that a good thing for the beginning of the season? You know, I you guess, man. Yeah. yeah, I guess they are because they've lost that... two. Oh, who's this? Are you talking about Eels or Yeah, yeah. Eels. Yeah, I guess any wins like good earlier on. Though. Yeah, no. So like, back to what you it. said, Penrith, um, you know, we had a good we had a good game against him. We just lost by four, even though throughout the game it was uh, felt like it was shellacking. But we mm-hmm. you know, if you look at the end end result, we lost by four, which mm-hmm. means a shitty team like ours, if you face if you turn up, I guess, with a uh in an eighty-minute performance, you can maybe topple them. Yeah, you're right. You know, top, mm. top them over. Yeah. Hey, sorry, I'm gonna, I know your team just finished. I know we have some loyal Tigers fans, but man, I have no <laughs> idea what's going on over there, man. Are they just, they're just having a tough day. Eh? They're just doing a tough Tigers fans. So, yeah, hopefully you can turn it around soon, man. He's got some good and then, players, but I don't know what's going on. And then Madge goes and uh, selects the same. Uh, starting team this week. Changes. This week no yeah. changes. No changes. <laughs> he's he's uh, he's holding the the shovel at the moment. I don't know how deep he is. Yeah. I think after I the think game, I... the Titans he just selected the same team the next day. He was like, no, nah, no, nah, same team. We'll just <laughs> no, he's with, oh, copy, copy, paste, <laughs> copy, paste. <laughs> after that, um, twenty fourteen premiership, uh, he won uh, with the bunnies. Um, I think since twenty fifteen onwards. I think there's only been two other seasons where he's had a top eight finish. Mm. Um, oh, and like, yeah. And even at the Bunnies, um, there were whispers that he had lost the locker room um, on the way out. And man, I, I don't know. If, is that is that a pattern? We, is that the same pattern we're seeing at the Tigers? Um, Could be, yeah. Because um, mm. do you think he won it because of the roster in 2014? I'm not taking any anything away from bunnies, but that roster was stacked. That yeah, you can, that was stacked, right? you, you can look at it that way. You can look at the, the but roster. Still was the coach, but right? also, you yeah. got to have, throughout the season, you have to have some sort of like, you know, the changes, the, the game plan. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like it's a, it's a big, big thing to say if he, you know, because he, he's got a premiership, right? Yeah, he's got a ring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so nah, it's um, you you have to put Maybe. yourself in in a position where you look at, uh, you know Bennett, um, you know you got to put yourself in that like you got to com- uh be consistent throughout these all years. But if you see that Bennett when Bennett went to Knights, yeah, you know, that was a sh- that's probably the shittiest time. Or no, he was at Broncos before, mm. uh, moving to Rabbitohs. So he, at times he was. 
not the best for that roster. Oh, he didn't made a, a change over to a different some, club, and then some, boom. There's some turmoil at Broncos, Wayne Bennett, and, and Brisbane. That's yeah, there was more. No, there was more management, eh? You reckon? Yeah, like it was, I don't yeah, think yeah. That, that, a that fight was between. Gonna be, yeah, that's why he left. I think he left because yeah, they wanted um who went over behind the scenes Seabold. Oh, Seabold. So they did a swap. Yeah. yeah, but they already said they want Seabold without. Um, yeah, yeah. Thinking with um Bennett, so it was a straight swap. But yeah, I don't know. Man. I don't even know where Seabold is now. Because of what he's gone through. Yeah. He's doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, I guess. Moving on. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Over to the, the Doggies tonight. game. Oh, Doggies. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, honestly, man, I, I, I didn't have anything to say straight up. As a massive dog supporter, even with brands, I didn't even know if he's got any words. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right. Disgraceful. You're... I was ashamed. Honestly, man, you would think that the way Melbourne was playing, that um, they were uh, that their home ground was the Puka Puka Hall, the way they were giving out <laughs> bonus. Like, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, I just wanted to emoy, 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 bro. After that, I was like, honestly, bro. So like, you're saying? Are you guys saying that the? Bulldogs off season was a build up, so. <laughs> well, I know. No, I didn't. I, no, I'm not I saying it's a build up. Mouth, it's just, right? <laughs> you know how in our chat we we were discussing in our chat that Melbourne really loses back to backs, and when they yeah, lose, yeah. and the next team yeah. comes on, they they get pissed and when, yeah, they, they, play they, like, mm. bro, when they play like that, you you can't stop it, bro. Like they just, I don't know, bro. They just push you, off. bro. Everything just falls into. Falls into their um, plan A. Like I say, I say this all the time for these top tier teams. They kick a ball. It could be the ugliest kick. Boom! At a try, or yeah, just throw yeah. an ugly pass. Yeah. Boom! At a try. <laughs> I get bust me off when they when they play like this. But yeah, um, yeah. but in saying that, uh, I think uh, I think what's his name, Baz, throwing Everilla into the centers, isn't it? I, yeah. uh, what what do you make of that? Like mm. he's he's I reckon. Um, in my opinion, he's a ball runner because he's, uh, he's a ball, he can run the ball. That's what you want to say. Oh, I, I was talking about Bez. I think, okay, my opinion on Bez, I think his back's against the wall. I reckon that's why he's doing all these changes. He's basically selected Flanagan to run this week, but he's up against the Prems when he hasn't trained with the side in the off season. He hasn't got a trial match, yeah. he hasn't even trained with the NRL side. So he's been chucking chuck against the Panthers where they're gonna be like. Full squatted up and probably looking to put more points on us. But I hope he goes well this week, Flanagan. I really do. But in your mm, question, same, same. He's a ball runner, um, Avrilo, but we really saw that against Melbourne, obviously, because they have bloody the Delhi M center of the year and the other center that can oh. bro, just Melbourne. Bro, like, we we're just defending the whole time. We had like more uh, sets on their own 20 or their own 10, but we couldn't even score. I think Brandon Smith said in his interview that they spent more time tackling on their own 10 uh, from them. Or like they spent more, like a lot of time on their own 10 tackling and they came away with it, went down the other end and just put on points. And that was just the main thing that I was it's just off idea. against, man. Yeah, bro. It was long, long range tries, bro. It was like, oh my gosh. But even, you know, how, how, how uh, Melbourne were flexing on their defense, you know, yeah. Uh, you guys, you, you guys will put a a good uh, what do you call it? Um, kick into the half, you know, and then they have to drop kick out. The oh, sorry, you know, and then they'll just attack forty every time they had the the ball, even in their own yeah. half. So yeah. for them to do that was fuck. It was. Hey, you can do. You can only do so much if you're attacking and you're not putting up points. <laughs> Bro, you yeah. might as well just sit back and defend and just watch all the tries going, which we were doing. Bro, when Felice Kafusi got a try, bro, I was pissed off. He doesn't even get tries. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that guy gassed the down like to get the 30 point. And I was like, bro. But yeah, that's what I mean, man. I, I was, I was Disgusting. Was bad, it was, yeah. <laughs> Which brings us, brings us over to our disgusting uh, game straight after yours, man. <laughs> And and you know to our um to our followers out there you know the the work we put on in our social media is just you know 
slight banter because he's <laughs> no, <laughs> slight banter. There, there's no slight banter, bro. You always come after us, your dog. <laughs> Just leave us alone, <laughs> your dog. As as long as you've been breathing, Tis always hates to... <laughs> it. It's just you know when let's just say one of the boys like I think Pete he's a manly fan. If they got shellacked by like fifty points, they would be like, oh, got it, one slide. Oh, I'm lucky. Also. If we and then if we get hammered, <laughs> bro, we got six slides on stories, bro. This guy's he's a he's a grub, man. It's so already we waiting. Even, it's already so waiting. We even had a post that he that he had ready since Tuesday, since the bloody Grammys, <laughs> just to post that. He posted it and the game wasn't even finished. What a sad dude. Man, that's just straight grub. He's a grub, this guy. I love this guy, but he's a grub. <laughs> hey, guys, you know, um, was, wasn't anything personal in it. Uh, you know, it's all love. <laughs> <laughs> but just, you know, just back to, to the game. Uh, Eels just purr. And we, we, I think the Eels played uh, Melbourne before. Um, that game, yeah, and they yeah. just continued that that performance like so they're on the high against game. them. They just yeah. played. Um, but also, uh, coaches' uh, selection on the team, you know, dropping Amon, Sloan, mm. throwing in, trying to throw in experience. Mm. Uh, I think we needed those uh, those those young players in there to, you know, because it just looked like everyone was just going by the book. Nothing changed, yeah. nothing doing. Yeah. You know, you need that little bit of flair every now and then, like kick to yourself mm. or chip. So yeah, it, we had Imbai like... at the back. Mm. We had Bird in the in the halves. And Bird was just throwing the ball like, I don't Bird. know what the hell he was doing with the ball. Yeah. It didn't look like um, the halves were playing what was in front of them. Like, you're right. It, mm. it was just like whatever the coach had the plan, like like whatever the coach planned for the game, that was what... Uh, that was your game plan the whole game. There were instances where, like you're right, like could have chucked in like a grubber behind behind the behind the line as it was coming up, or yeah. just anything like that. But <clears throat> yeah, it's against the side, though. yeah, yeah, um, against the side like the Eels, like you're right, they're building nicely. Um, yeah, they're building very nicely. They're not, they haven't started at the top, like Panthers and Storm who are who are on a roll and they're yeah. they're on that. Uh, whether or not they go up or go down uh, remains to be seen at this point. But against the, uh, the Eels, they're building nicely. But now nah, I think your young fellas uh, uh, will, will claw back after that loss. Bro. Like, I really like yeah. the likes of Sloan, uh, Lomax, at Centre. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so just a reminder to our viewers that their score was uh, 48 to the Eels and 14 to the Dragons. And, um, I don't know why storm. you're reminding people. They know this, what the scores are. <laughs> the score was 44 and the uh, Bulldogs was knack. Can you do a, a premiership score now? <laughs> oh, that was um, hands up if we won the weekend. <laughs> All I see is, is you just pointing to the Lakers. This, this hands up for you. Hey, I hey. don't see anything else. Oh, no, no, we're out, we're out of contention, so I'm just going to delete that. I'm just going to add somebody else. <laughs> Jump on somebody else's back? No. Nah. Um, yeah. We just... Um, uh, well, quick mention of uh, the team that that most of the New Zealanders watch. Uh, the Warriors. Was. <laughs> the Warriors. Was. Good win. And a good win from them. Uh, SJ turning up. Oh. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the fence with SJ because mm. still con consistency mm. for him to come mm. back to show, you know, a bit of, I guess, it, what everyone wants is dubs, you know. Yeah. So against yeah. us, yeah. you know, uh, losing that game, didn't see him maybe for 30 minutes of that game and then showing up on against the Broncos and Broncos are no easy feat. But in saying that, like... Yeah, he just just played nicely, calm, putting up the you know um, contesting for the for the you know the boot. So mm. yeah, I hope he does play like um, well over these weeks, man. Because he's we all know how um, Johnson is, how he plays with the Warriors. It's a lot of flair in there because we can see it when he went to Cronulla. There wasn't really much flair into his game. Eh? He was just settled and like. More structured, um, Johnson. 
But now he's back in the words. He's throwing a bit of he, uh, Johnson of old, I guess. He ended up with a uh, one daily input. Oh, true. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Who, do, who does those tellings? Is it ex players or I don't know. Are they judges? Yeah, some ex players, yeah. Some ex, um, Tim Manor, uh, Tim Manor judged that game. They, um, they oh, get assigned like, a game, eh? Yeah. Oh, a right. couple oh. of guys get assigned a yeah. game. Yeah. 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 Three, two, choose. one point system. Yeah. Um, How much did um, Pepenhausen get? Like 50? Did he get 50 points? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. Is that guy just... Did he. Uh, oh, he got, got yeah, he got uh, he got three points for this one for that he game. Got the three uh, points. Oh, Jerome God, Hughes got one. two, and Harry Grant got one. Um, just in, like, uh, what was it? I think the forwards, bro, like um, AFB and Matt Lodge, they really yeah, yeah, the platform. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. bro, like the meters they were getting through that middle, uh, through that middle third, bro, like they're on fire pretty much that whole game, and it allowed for. The likes of uh, SJ and Walsh and CHC, uh, Mausos nicknames. Yeah. Um, allowed Next for them to. Adam, Adam, yeah. Adam got close to 200 meters, eh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that guy's the man, bro. Yeah. For Noah Blakey. It's yeah, bro. Definitely. I think he's out. I think he's out this week or questionable this week. Oh, I think on the bench, eh? Hey. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They left him on the um, bench for air injury. And from that game, Jazz Tevanga has been suspended for two games because uh, yeah. of that that tackle he did on Matt oh. Carrigan, which yeah. yeah, that that's a if he didn't get injured, eh, it'd probably be a different story. But because the man's be, yeah. out, yeah, it, 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 they're just changing the style of tackling now, eh? You're like, yeah, it's low, but uh, you see it a lot, though. You see it a lot. It's it's just how they referee yeah. throughout. The season, like it's they just change. Mm. All changes. of a sudden, people are going low in one game. Boom! The refs just gonna pull it up in that one game. But then you see another game; it's just totally different, different refereeing. So, yeah. Um, like, but in saying that, you know, um, <laughs> I think they go, they go back. It goes back on history with uh, what's his name? Um, what's his name again? Isaac Luke. Ah, uh, oh, no, 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 um, yeah. Because he's you know he's known for that sort of tackle, sir. So. Ah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. And then the anything else to mention? I think that's uh, it for our heavy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, Isaiah Yeo, uh, Yeo, Yeo, um, Yeo, Yeah, Yeo, 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 Yeo. That was his fourth straight um, three-point game. Um, yeah, yeah. So he's currently in the lead for the Delium Delium leaderboard on twelve points. Uh, yeah, man. So that's bro, I haven't heard of that yeah. before. Like just four straight. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Nice. Brad, you like a, hmm. Yeah. Was that us? Brad, you got a quick one for this? You got a quick um touch up on this? Oh yes, yes. The um, because we've been following the women's cricket World Cup. Uh, we'll just yeah. So the Australian uh, women's uh, cricket team they've won the World Cup over the weekend on Sunday. They set um, they set a good uh, good run chase for England, uh, who had to chase three fifty six all up. Mm. Um, that had a majority of that was thanks to Alyssa Healy. Who uh, scored 170 off the bat, man? Um, that 170 is actually the highest score in a World Cup final, in any World Cup final, in um, either men's or women's. So um, she holds the record for that um, amazing effort, man. At the same time, uh, can't um, we can't go without mentioning uh, Nat Skyver's 148 not out as well. So if it wasn't for her, I think um, England's uh, run chase wouldn't have looked as pretty as it did. Um, unfortunately, uh, they couldn't go all the way. I think Ash Gardner, um, she got uh, Nick Skyver's uh, batting partner out. Um, so that was in the, yeah, the ninth wicket. And then from there, um, Jess Janassen finished it off for Oz. Um, and then they were all out for, I think it was 285. Um, some say that um, this Australian uh, women's team is the best women's team that has ever played 
uh, played the game. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, I think from the last World Cup where they lost against England, they've been building nicely and um, they've been good guns like right from the get go. It didn't really look like they would, would there would be a chance that they would lose it. Uh, it was theirs mm. to win, and it just shows like they, they were all class uh, on Sunday, man. Um, yeah, world champions. So congratulations to the Australian women's cricket team on their World Cup victory. Congrats, in the, ladies! In the one-day format. Woo. Let's, oh, yeah. and just a just a quick shout out to um, our wrestling fans uh, out there. WrestleMania just finished, and uh, just a shout out to those who are Roman Reigns for getting the uh, the two belts. So Roman, Good from my of family to your family, uh, aloha haku also, and um, <laughs> yeah, and just Mrs. keep Frank. safe also. Mrs. Keep Frank, safe out there. Hop on on the latch podcast with your belts, but you haven't replied back. So aloha haku. From Malusi also. From <laughs> We'll see you at the reunion. <laughs> we'll see you at his birthday also. Yeah. It's in my lossy. <laughs> and hey boys, just as a you reminder, can see. just um yeah, for episode ten we which is our next um is that our next episode next week? Yeah. I think it is. Um, yeah. our giveaway. Yeah, it is. Wow, so our tenth episode next week, guys. Uh we all our viewers out there. Um it's a big giveaway coming up next week, so stay tuned. Yeah, and this um this is probably um in regards to the giveaway, sorry, it's um it's open to our New Zealand and Australia um audience. So just a quick I guess rundown on what's gonna be in it. Uh you'll be receiving a uh all black yeah, jersey, uh all black um shorts. Um there might be a voucher in there and a new car. No, jokes. You won't be getting a car. Kind of. <laughs> and, one a um, car. and a new car, Lorraine Book. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned. Um, we'll be, I think, putting up the uh, the giveaway tomorrow and um, nice. and how you can yes. how you can get that. So um, just quickly, again, we just want to thank our, our sponsors. I know we played a clip of them, which is TJA Construction. Uh Crucial flooring and Maddie McFarland. Thank you, fans, for, for jumping on and, and supporting fans, us, yeah. supporting the lads. And um, if if it's possible, can you guys send more money so we can quit our day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks, viewers. Awesome, thanks, awesome. fam. Yeah, shout out to the viewers. And um, yeah, just a sorry, another mention and, and a, a, a thank you to um, Rolangi Vicinia for for jumping on tonight. Uh, I know. I think he's been the biggest supporter of our, our show, even though he doesn't know us. But And, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll be having, uh, I guess, future guests on at, at some point. Um, but stay tuned. Every uh, Wednesdays, 9 p.m., thank you, uh, team, for jumping on. Uh, this is the Latch mm. Podcast. I'm Teza. I'm Mana. Um, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> and I'm David Ruffin, and these are the Temptation Nights. I'm Mossa. Shut. Black scrap scrape. <laughs>